Okay, folks, welcome to The Contrarian Trader. This is Robert Desmond. I'm making this video due to the fact that I get a lot of questions about contrarian trading. What is it? What's a contrarian? Uh, many times in spell check on Word, you'll see contrarian doesn't even come up in the dictionary. What is it? And what it is, is basically it's taking an opposite position versus the rest of the market. Whether you see using Fed Chairman Greenspan's phrase, irrational exuberance, or irrational pessimism. And what we do is we, we, we do screens. We run screens to identify those stocks. It's because it's been proven time and again that those stocks with irrational exuberance and with irrational pessimism provide you with the best risk to reward. So let's go over a couple of stocks. One is a long, one is a short. And they're very recent. Clearfield Inc. symbol CLFD. This is a daily chart as of 6.14.13. And you'll see that you have some beautiful volume bars. And I pointed out to my members in my the week ahead commentary plus in the intraday updates, the resistance on Clearfield was right here, right where this blue line is. And you had an RSI that was well above 85. Now, if you read technical analysis for dummies and you rely upon one indicator, it would have told you to short this stock. And nothing could be further from the truth. I told my members it's a watch due to the fact that you have bottoming tails right here. Those bottoming tiles, tails imply that you have support at $10.75. The probability of this strong stock getting stronger and proceeding to a higher RSI is very, very likely. So what we do is we take a look at the historic charts. Before we ever enter a trade, we take a look at the monthly charts, the weekly charts, wherever there's historic resistance or support. In this case, we're looking for resistance. And you could see that we broke out of a beautiful consolidation. Great stepping pattern. All the trademarks of a stock the moving into a bull run. So we know we're not going to short this stock and ride it down to zero. That's not going to happen. The only thing you can do is short it for a scalp and get out and then perhaps get long on it as a longer term momentum stock. Just because we're contrarian doesn't mean that the trend isn't our friend. It is. We still like to tr ride stocks long going by momentum. However, for our short term trades, we use contrarian trading. That's what put, puts money in our pockets every single week. If you hear kids in the background, it's kids, my kids' cousins in the pool, so I, my apologies. So anyway, beautiful, beautiful chart here, breaking out. You can see you have historic resistance going back in 2001. Now, how many investors are still in the stock after all these years? My guess is not that many, probably a couple of institutional holders looking to probably unload the rest of their shares where they got in. Let's go back to the daily chart. Now, remember this chart. It's very, very critical. You need to pay attention to this. Very, very critical. All right, now back to the daily chart. You could see that because we showed patience and we didn't get excited because a book told us that we should short it here because you have an RSI above 70. If you would have used that rule of thumb, you'd have lost your shirt. So we show patience. We pay attention to the indicators as well as the oscillator. You have to use all of them in tandem as well as the volume. Take a look at this volume breakout here on Friday. Friday all overall in the market was a very light volume day. You see a stock breakthrough resistance on a light volume down, down day. With this type of up volume, you have to pay attention to that stock. This is a stock that is probably going to head higher. Do, do I think we'll probably be short of this stock at some point in time in the near future? Probably so. But not for long. Because I think longer term, it's going to go higher. Next stock, and this is a long. This is SID, Compania. I can't even say the, I can't even pronounce it. It's a Chilean miner. And again, what we do, we first, it appears on our screen as an extreme oversold stock with a potential. Now we want to look to get long. So what we do is we pull out, again, historic charts. It's the same thing over and over again. It's discipline. This is how we do our homework. This is our due diligence. Not what Kramer says. Look at the financials, listen to the, uh, the, the, the conference calls. They're, they're full of crap. They lie. And they get accountants to sign off on it. I look at the charts. And the charts are telling us here is that we have support at 
2008 lows at $3 per share. So it, it was on our screen back here. And I told my members, I said, listen, yes, let's go to the daily charts to get a better feel for the oversold condition. When it first was added to our, our watch list. And it was right here, right where the circle is. And you could see that you can't just go by one oscillator. You can't do it. If you do that, you're going to go broke in this business. So it appeared here, right here. And I told my members on the week I had commentary, I sent it out every Sunday. I said, hold off until the stock hits $3 per share. Why? It's because we know the last time the stock hit $3 per share, it bounced and rallied up to $17.53 per share. That's an important fact when you're trading stocks. So what it did was, and I mentioned the fact that it was a cyclical. The miners are getting killed because of a stronger dollar at that time. Now the dollars are being destroyed. So the cyclicals, the miners are out of favor. They're being killed. My exact terminology was it could slice through $3 per share like a hot knife through butter. And if you sign up for the 14-day free trial offer, go back a few weeks and you'll see. That's exactly what I said because I keep them archived on the members video area. And I said, watch $3 per share, but it could slice right through it. Sure enough, it did that. It bounced off of $2.72 per share. Where did it rally to and close above? $3 per share. So now we're going to be looking to get into SID as a long, a potential rally in the stock. So, so if you want to see what I'm going to be telling my members about SID and other stocks, oil as well, UUP, take a look at the members video, which will be going out on Sunday, Father's Day, and it goes out every Sunday. Sign up for the 14-day free trial offer, secure through PayPal. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, robertthecontrariantrader.com. Again, happy Father's Day to everybody. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.